What is up, everybody? Almost Evil 33 is here again. Today, I have another Battlefield 3 gameplay commentary for you guys. Today, I'm playing some Rush on Operation Metro. I'll be using the M16A3 with Holographic Sight, Foregrip, and Heavy Barrel. So, this match was really intense. It had all those typical Operation Metro crazy moments that you'd come to expect with this map. But, uh, it was actually 24 to 25 minutes long. It was a very lengthy match. The ticket count was a little bit higher than normal. So we just kind of went with it, and there were some really intense moments here, and I cut it down to about eight minutes for you guys. So enjoy the gameplay. I think I captured a lot of the intense moments here. There were just a lot of kills that I had, a lot of deaths, and most importantly, a ton of MCOM arms that I got. So enjoy the gameplay. Now, the gameplay also has to correlate with my topic that I'll be discussing today, and that is your go-to class setups and knowing your role on the battlefield. So it's really important to know your role in the battlefield, especially when times get tough, because you're going to need to help out your team as much as you possibly can to your fullest potential. And if you're just randomly going about the battlefield, not really knowing what you're doing, not doing what you're supposed to be doing in terms of your class, then you're not going to be helping out your team that much, and you're not going to be leading your team to victory, which is something you obviously don't want to do. So it's really important to find your own play style and class setup for when times get tough and when you really need to be serious on the battlefield to win a game because maybe it's a really intense match or a close match or maybe you're just not doing well and you've had a bad day of playing and you just want to do better then maybe you'll find that class setup and play style that just suits you best and just run it so mine really is just this m16 here i do very well with this weapon just because of how balanced it is i really enjoy using it i think it's great and my play style really is getting up in the faces of enemies. I like to flank a lot too. And I just incorporate these tactics into my play style. So I consider myself just to be a typical run and gun PTFO kind of player. I don't like to sit back that often. I mean, I'll get some long range kills every once in a while, but I tend to be up in everybody's face really. And I like that. That's my go to play style. So, I mean, you can find yours easily if you haven't already. Just know your strengths and weaknesses on the battlefield. You need to know what kind of a player you are. You can't just kind of assume that you're good at everything or that you're good enough at everything. Every player has strengths and weaknesses. I feel like my strengths are at closer range because I don't have the best shot in the world, but at the same time, I can kind of not really spray and pray, but I could land my bullets on target at close range. But if I'm using a, something like a support gun or a sniper rifle and I'm at long range, usually I won't get the shots landed that I need to get for the kill. So I tend to stick at close range as much as I possibly can. So I feel like my strengths are kind of being up in the enemy's face and, you know, not sitting back so much just because I don't have the best shot. Because that's pretty much my weakness. So I tend to stay front lines and up in the action, getting my revives in, getting my MCOM arms in throwing med kits, uh, popping smoke when needed. So that's basically my go-to play style, and that's how I like to play this game. And when times get tough for me, when there's a really close match, that's what I like to do, and I find the most success doing that. So I suggest you guys do the same. Find your preferred play style and class setup that you're going to want to use when the going gets tough in Battlefield 3. It's not too hard to find. You just gotta kind of experiment with the game. Now... When you're messing around in the game a little bit, maybe there's a blowout match, like your team is just wrecking the other team, and maybe the other team's full of low skill levels or whatever, then maybe you can just experiment around, goof around, find some, you know, dumb weapon setups like a LMG that nobody uses, or maybe I'll pull out a shotgun once in a while if my team's just dominating the other team. But I really tend to not do that too often. I mean, if I need to do well, then I'm going to pull out my assault kit or an engineer with my favorite rifle or my favorite carbine. So not only do you have to know what your favorite class setup is and what your favorite play style is in order to do well, you're also going to have to choose your location of where you want to kind of hang around more often than not. So in Rush, this is kind of a little bit tougher because, you know, you're moving all over the map, but this especially applies to Conquest. and. You're going to want to know what kind of flag you're going to want to hang around. And maybe on Rush, you can say the same thing. Maybe you're going to go for a specific MCOM because when you go for this MCOM and play a certain way, you tend to do better. So really, this all comes with experience. You need to be able to know what to expect the other enemy players to be doing, depending on their skill level, really. So there's just a lot of variable factors that you need to take into consideration, and that's why the experience is such a key to success on the battlefield. 
So you gotta make sure you adjust your setup to the situation that is at hand, you know? If your team's getting spawn trapped, you can't just go running into the enemy line, but at the same time, if the enemy defensive line's a little bit weak, you need to take advantage of that as fast as you can and get into it and just rush straight in for those MCOMs. Because, I mean, you really have to be experienced, you have to realize, you have to have that situational awareness. You need to be able to see what's going on all around the map, even if the enemy is miles away from you, you need to be able to see what they're doing and plan your counter moves wisely and put them into place effectively. So the next thing I'm going to talk about really quick is map knowledge and planning ahead. So you need to have superior map knowledge to the other players in the game. It's just key. It's necessary to do well because you need to be able to adjust your gun setup and your play style based on different situations. And there are a lot of maps like Operation Metro where you may have to change your class setup mid-game. And a lot of people just don't do this, and they may look foolish when they're running a tactical flashlight when it's bright as day outside and the sun's already blinding enough. And trust me, I see it all the time. So, it, it happens a lot. And I'm sure you guys know that. So, make sure you change your class setup based on the situation. Now, I really change mine a lot, and basically for me it depends on my tertiary and secondary weapons because they are absolutely important on Operation Metro. You know that you need to have the smoke, you need to have the grenade launchers and the med kits, all that good stuff because of the close quarters combat here. When I start Operation Metro on the first base, I think that you need to run a smoke because I think that it's, it's open, so the enemy has a huge line of sight on you, so you need to be able to hinder them somewhat, especially going for A in particular, just because they have such a great line of sight on you between snipers all the way in the back and assaults near the front. Just lay some smoke down. I think it makes it a lot easier to get that objective. So once you get inside of the Metro, after you take the first two MCOMs, you might want to switch. And I put on a med kit here because using smoke just does not really work out that well for me. Because of the really narrow hallways and passages that they have down there, I think that running smoke is almost pointless because you won't be able to see the enemy running down the hallway and they won't be able to see you either. So really it just doesn't make any sense. So I just run med kits there because I tend to get hurt in those narrow hallways and other people do too, so I help them out. So I put med kits on there. Then once I get out here, I put on more smoke. As you can see, I just smoked up the objective like crazy, pick off this guy and arm it. And I'll tell you, this was a standstill for a while. Nobody was getting this objective planted, but there were so many people dying around it. So really you need to make sure you adjust your class setup effectively to be able to be ultimately effective on the battlefield. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave me a thumbs up. Other than that, I will talk to you guys later. Let me know your favorite class setup down in the comments and your go-to setups and play styles for when times get tough. I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching. Peace!